Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Falcon 9 rocket launched from Space Launch Complex 40 carrying 22 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. And liftoff of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. And here we can see Falcon 9's first stage landing on short fall of Gravitas drone ship. It was the 16th launch and landing for booster 1069. This is 300 Falcon 9 booster landing. And later, another Falcon 9 rocket launched from Space Launch Complex 4E, carrying 20 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. And liftoff of Falcon 9, go to SpaceX, go direct to south. Falcon 9 first stage, landing on of course I still love your drone ship. It was the 21st launch and landing for booster 1061. Now to the main update, we have the footage of Super Heavy Booster 11, landing burn and its soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. The booster is supersonic, coming very strong and the landing burn and soft splashdown. Very nice. This is one of the best footage ever. My only hope that they give us the full video from this camera to see how the booster was tilting and falling and taking up on the water. All thanks to SpaceX team for the great footage. Now it's a tricky one for the next launch. If they won't catch the booster, it's a loss of a lot of raptors. And if they catch it, it's not that easy. But I'm with the catch in the next test flight. Let me know in the comments what do you think. So after the last launch, Elon said, I think we should try to catch the booster with the Mikazilla Arms next flight. But I watched one of his interviews after the launch when he said maybe and that he will talk with the team and make decision. Before I started the editing of this video, I saw this new update from Elon. He said, Starship Booster makes soft landing in water. Next landing will be caught by the tower arms. So, it's official. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.